No, I just wanted to say that I went up and I joined in Concord on the uh, Seacoast Cancer Cluster oh, yeah. Commission this morning mm -hmm. because they had EPA there as well as DES and also Robert Sullivan representing, I guess, Portsmouth and the Coakley Landfill Group was there. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do anything at the meeting. It was Attorney Gerald that uh, really uh, threw EPA, DES, and uh, Coakley Landfill threw a wrench in there. He pretty much just said that the the professional that we hired, Tom Bellistero, who actually taught many of the uh, people who are running the Environmental Protection Agency today, had suggested months ago at a Northampton public meeting that he was concerned that we were trying to get Coakley to set up additional monitoring wells to find out where, what was coming out of it. And he really suggested that he set up wells at the southeast and the south portion and that was sort of overlooked and it's right. been overlooked and no one ever brought it up again and Mark brought it up today in front of the commission and the commission pretty much have forced uh, both the EPA and DES to recommend it at a meeting they'll be having this Friday which of course is not open to the public right. but hopefully minutes will be taken for it between EPA, DES and the Coakley Landfill Group. So I just wanted to say that while it's safe that we don't know exactly where PFCs are coming from, we have also problems with our own landfill, and I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that probably every single landfill that was closed in this state was probably closed improperly and shouldn't have been closed the way it was. We still have a lot of test work to do, but I think that Coakley, if they are a suspect, then they need to be held accountable for right producing the records that I think should be made public. And according to the Hampton Union yesterday, Tony Sullivan says that, that those records will be produced by Wednesday of this week. So hopefully that will actually be the case. And if it's not, I think that this board needs to continue following up on it because it's 91A request. The organization represents mostly municipalities and the money that is being spent is being spent by municipal taxpayers, so I feel that we do have the right to know.